can people be so ideologically yeah. consumed that they'd look at that photo and go, yeah, good? Uh, Daisy, to have a mastectomy is an enormous operation. Um, women who've had to have it because of uh, breast cancer, etc. It's a very lengthy recovery process. We don't actually even quite understand what the loss of breasts do to a woman's overall uh, health and well-being. And, you know, we are hearing stories where this is happening to girls and they, they never fully recover. They still have... Um, it becomes infected, they have bleeding, they have weeping, they have pain, they have loss of sensation. I mean, this is not, you know, an, an ordinary cosmetic procedure. It's not like having a nose job. This is removal of breasts of young girls who haven't even, I, I mean, in some cases they haven't even held hands with, with someone in a romantic sense. So they don't even know what they've lost. They haven't even considered having children. So they don't even know that they are giving up, you know, that absolutely beautiful experience of being able to breastfeed your child. Uh, so in my view, you know, you could you could conceivably say that this is a, a human rights abuse. I, I think so. I, I mean, like, we talk about informed consent, but, I mean, there's just no one less informed, really, than a 15-year-old than a insecure <laughs> girl who was electing to have her, her breasts removed because adults have told her it's the right thing to do. And, and that's one of the big issues. I mean, you've spoken about it, I've spoken about it, lot, lots of women have mentioned this. There's a disproportionate number of young teenage girls over the last several years um, electing to transition and calling themselves trans, etc. My, my, and that didn't used to be the case 10 years ago. It was mainly men, but it, it switched. My argument has always been about teenage girls. Every teenage girl is un uncomfortable with her body and particularly her breasts at some point. It's a massive um, puberty change, growing breasts. Do you reckon in a lot of cases that natural discomfort is sort of facilitated by this trans ideology and so they interpret it as gender dysphoria? I would agree with you with that, uh, Daisy. Uh, obviously, when... I mean, almost everybody experiences discomfort going through puberty. Your body suddenly becomes uncontrollable. You're having all these weird feelings, particularly for girls you are now... Uh, receiving unwanted male attention that you cannot cope with.